Nullspace EM provides a powerful Python-based application programming interface that controls every aspect of the simulation process. The Nullspace EM kernel runs independently on a simulation configuration file, which is created in Python using the configuration API. The simulation execution stage results in the basic data required for generating Nullspace EM reports. Nullspace EM reports contain intermediate data that require additional calculations, such as generating FAR fields. Reports can be configured using the Python API, and all report data can be generated through a second execution of the Nullspace EM kernel. Finally, post-processing data is generated and visualized using the Python API with built-in plotting capabilities, or via Paraview. This video will cover running a pre-generated KA band standard gain horn antenna mesh in Nullspace EM. Standard gain horns are widely employed in defense and aerospace applications, including satellite communications, radar systems, missile guidance, and aerospace research and testing. This example will walk through simulation and report configuration, executing Nullspace EM, and post-processing visualization. The result from this example will be a suite of data and plots for further analysis of the KA band horn. Every simulation configuration begins with importing the proper Python modules. The NSIM module is required, and NumPy is used for data array operations. A simulation configuration consists of a configuration object that is augmented with the necessary data to perform the first stage of model execution. Many settings are configured by default. For this example, the basis function order needs to be explicitly set to 2, representing second-order accuracy. Then, we will assign the exported CUB5 file to the configuration and set the scale factor to convert the mesh to meters. Nullspace EM uses frequency units of gigahertz, so for this example, we will be taking 21 samples between 26.5 and 40 gigahertz. This is all the information that is required for configuring the initial simulation, so the configuration can be saved. When the script is executed, this produces a simulation H5 file that is stored in the working directory. The second stage of the simulation process is the report stage. First, we will create a report object by giving it a name and associating the report with the simulation configuration. This can be done by file name or with the actual Python object as is done here. Next, we request the Y parameters to support further network parameter calculations and request the observation far field angles. As an additional analysis benefit, we will also request the Paraview compatible output for the model, surface currents, and near fields. Then, save the report configuration. When the script is executed, this produces a report H5 file that is stored in the working directory. The simulation must occur first, and then the report can be generated. While executing, screen output is sent to the terminal as well as to respective log files, in this case, simulation.out and report.out. With the simulation script saved from the working directory, execute the following. Nullspace EM's Python API provides users with a powerful capability to post-process simulation data for any purpose due to having the full capability of the Python programming language at your disposal. In this example, the Python library matplotlib is used for plotting results. As such, it must be imported along with a Nullspace EM post-processing module. We will also use SciPy subpackage for objects used in interpolation. Then we will prepare the reflection coefficient, boresight gain, and EH plane cuts figures. In the same style as the configuration and report setup, post-processing is initiated by creating a post-processing object and associating it with a nullspace EM report. Once created, many getter functions are available for retrieving relevant data. In this case, we are retrieving the frequencies, observation angles, converting our Y to S parameters, and realized gain with the optional polarization argument of Ludwig 3.
The remainder of the script uses standard matplotlib, numpy, and scipy syntax with formatting applied to generate the plots of interest. Once the file is complete and saved, run the following command. The plots that result include the modeled WR28 standard gain horn reflection coefficient compared to a general design metric of minus 10 dB. The boresight realized gain against the ideal gain formula for a pyramidal horn referenced in the Antenna Engineering Handbook, equations 14 through 19. And the E and H plane realized gain patterns at 26.5 GHz and at 40 GHz. For the first figure, the return loss is shown and demonstrates that the coax waveguide adapter and taper of the horn provides a good match across the operating band. In the second figure, the boresight realized gain demonstrates the expected behavior of a standard gain horn compared to the ideal gain curve for a pyramidal horn with the corresponding flare and aperture size. The slight variations are due to the feed and the effects captured by a high fidelity physics model. For the third and fourth figures, designers often desire to visualize the gain patterns at specific frequencies along the E and H plane cuts. Since the antenna is oriented with its optical axis along the z-axis, the E and H plane cuts are theta cuts at various phi angles. Visualizing the pattern centered around theta equal to zero can be accomplished by first extracting the phi angle index into the dataset and then plotting each theta cut. The third and fourth figures illustrate this for 26.5 GHz and 40 GHz, respectively. For further reference, visit the user guide of your Nullspace EM installation to follow along with more examples in using the Python API and post-processing features. Nullspace, built for engineers, by engineers. Thank you for watching this video and check out our YouTube channel for more helpful tutorials, webinars, and demonstrations.